I think it's been over two weeks since the release of BMBF, but some people are still unfortunately struggling to get it working. So I decided to make another video tutorial. Hopefully this one is detailed enough for you to follow. To those who were successful in adding custom songs to Beat Saber, please leave a comment below if I forgot to mention something or you know something that I don't know. So let's start. First, open your Oculus app on your smartphone and make sure that your headset is turned on. Go to settings and under my devices, tap on the Oculus Quest. Go to more settings, go to developer mode and turn it on. Now create an organization. Go to the Oculus website and sign in using the same account you have on your smartphone. Hover on Community and click Developers. On the left side of the window, click Manage. Then click Create New Organization. You can name it anything you want, no one else will see this. Check I understand and click submit. Check the box and click I agree. Now download and install ADB drivers. Go to develop, click downloads. Click Unity, and click Oculus ADB Drivers. Check the box and click Download. That should start the download immediately. Check your downloads and extract the contents of the file you just downloaded. If you don't see an extract option, I suggest you get WinRAR or WinZip. Now open the extracted folder and find Android WinUSB. Right click and click install. If there is no install option when you right click, I link the website in the description box that has all the instructions on how to deal with this. Now download and install SideQuest. Go to SideQuest.com and download and install the correct version for your system. And then run SideQuest. Next is allow USB debugging. The status of the connection between your headset and your computer is shown at the top left side of the window. Now connect your headset to your computer via USB cable. Once you've connected it, it's going to say unauthorized. This is the part where you allow USB debugging. So go ahead and put your headset on and click allow. And now you're connected and ready to proceed to the next step. Download the BMBF APK file from the description box and install it using SideQuest. Click the install button found at the top right side of the window and find the BMBF APK file. When it says completed, you can disconnect your headset from your computer and continue the installation process from there. Go to Oculus TV and find BMBF. Scroll down and select continue. Select uninstall Beat Saber and patch Beat Saber and OK. Patch Beat Saber again.
Select Install Modded Beat Saber. Go to Settings. Scroll down a little bit and allow installation of apps from unknown sources. Now go back to BMBF. Scroll down and select Install Modded Beat Saber. You can now start downloading custom songs you want to play in Beat Saber. This is one way to download custom songs which is completely wireless and another way is using your computer which requires your headset to be physically connected to your computer via USB. I personally prefer doing it in my computer since it's a lot faster. To start downloading, just click the download icon for each song you like. When you click the download icon, it should say processing just right below the unicorn icon. When you're done downloading, don't forget to click that red button, which says Sync Beat Saber. After that, it should appear on your playlist and you can start playing these songs already on Beat Saber. And here they are, ready to be played. If you want to download songs using your computer, you can download the desktop launcher or manually input the address on your web browser. The address should be the IP address you see on SideQuest with an additional colon 5000. To start downloading songs, go to bsaber.com. After downloading, just leave them in their original zip format. Just select everything and drag them to the web browser to start uploading. Then sync Beat Saber. You may not see it in your playlists, but it should be in your Beat Saber game. Okay, let's check. From 3 custom songs, it's now 61. So you see, it's there. By now, you should be able to play everything that you've added. My method might be slightly different from the others, but this is what have always worked for me. I have repeatedly done a factory reset on my quest and have repeatedly installed BMBF and added custom songs this way and I have never had any issue with it. So hopefully it goes the same for you. Leave a comment if you have questions or if you have anything you just want to share. Also give it a thumbs up if it worked for you.